Yeah, hello everyone. Have you ever wondered how did the mechanic of HBR character work? Me too! So here's the guy on it. In this video, I'm gonna be going over each type and attribute a character can have. Along with some upgrade menu and stuff, you know, just the general stuff. In-depth guide for each specific character will be available when Global come out. You know, whenever that is. Now let's talk about different character type. This is gonna be a long ass sex. Different character can have different type. I mean, it's kinda obvious at this point. Though what might not be obvious is how are they different from each other. For example, what's the difference between attack and blaster? Well, sit your ass down cause Professor Scuff is gonna show you. Attacker, good for damaging enemy HP. Generally you want at least one attack on your team to do damage. Yes, the other can also do damage, but attacker have skills that do more damage to HP. Plus, nuking enemies is much better than not. What? Hey, did anyone check that we actually run over the script? No? Oh, fuck. Breaker, good for damaging DP or so, whatever you call it. Same as attacker, you will need at least one in your team to strip enemy DP. Throughout my gameplay, having one breaker is fine if it's just an ass. Even then, I still have some trouble dealing with bosses that have high DP. Those motherfuckers are tanky. Blaster, good for increasing damage percent after break. This is very useful type to have since Blaster enable attacker to do more damage after break. I highly recommend having one for enemy nuke. Oh, you might ask, oh, what is damage percent? Well, you're gonna have to wait until the next video of in-depth combat guide then, uh huh? Buffer. I mean, clues in the context. Most S rank and below that I see only have one attribute but no element. But SS rank on the other hand does have elemental buff skill that boosts that type of element. For example, the new SS character, Mary Satsuki, a sudden ice buffer and one of her ability boosts ice power. It's optional if you wanna use a buff in your team to do damage. Personally, I would and will because fire is to cast SS which have my fire Ruka SS. The buffer. Again, close in the context. Same as buffer, but debuffing. Two enemies, of course. I mean, imagine if they actually debuff your own team. I, I would uninstall. The debuff can be anything from stun, reduce defense, and confuse. There's probably more, but I ain't naming them all. You can have both buffer and debuffer in the same team, and I don't see why not. Boost your team damage plus debuff the enemy equals stun. They are also optional like buffer, but again, I use it because I have anime SS. Healer. This video kinda hard, not gonna lie, especially explaining what a healer is. They heal your DP or HP. I mean, what more do you want me to say? Note that if your character is in break state, you won't be stunned, but you won't recover DP either. Only HP at this point on. Unless you know what you're doing or have a great sense of DP management, please bring a healer to save your ass from failing. Defender, taunt and protect. They are the tank of the team. Defender are usually optional if you have a healer. But I can see a scenario where both defender and healer are both required for like bosses and stuff. With that being said, I never upgraded mine so hey, <laughs> I might be fucked later on. Okay, there was a lot so uh, let's go into attribute. There are 8 attributes total. Slash, Sudden, Hit are the main attributes that all characters have. Fire, Thunder, Ice, Light, Darkness are side attributes. Some may have it, other don't. For example, SS Fire Ruka have fire, I mean, kinda obvious, and SS Ice Mary have, well, ice. Attributes are not very important very early game, I mean, kinda spam shit, let's be real here. But eventually, enemy will have different attributes that's counteract with you or not. Yeah, that was a really short section, so let's talk about the upgrade and stuff. When going to team setup on your phone, or PC, or refrigerator, however you're playing the game, you will be greeted with this menu. This allows you to change characters in your team, and you can set up to 6 different teams. No renaming though, sadly. So you can't tell which is which team unless you have some godsend memory of a quo. What? When clicking on a character, 4 options will pop up, going from top to bottom, skill setting, style enhancement, booster equipment, and accessory. Skill setting is basically an overview for your character. There are 3 different tabs, those are stat, ability, and perimeter. They're just info for you to look at. This allows you to change the skill order or where it placed in the battle menu. You can manually level up your character and allow you to switch to different rank on the same character. Note that XP is set between different ready of the same character so you don't have to worry about leveling each different version of the same character. Cause that would be a pain in the ass. 
In the main or leveling tab, there's also a second tab called Reincarnation. Basically just to reset the stat, eat some of your level for extra buff. It doesn't reset the upgrade that you unlock, so don't stop crying about it. Honestly, I think it's worth it too. Style Enhancement is pretty much skill upgrade, and there's a button that lets you limit break the character to boost cap level and additional stat buff. You also need a required material to upgrade, which you can check by clicking on each skill that have not been upgraded. You can find some common material just by playing the game, but some you have to find the Garden of Memorial and Rena. Booster equipment are bought from Mari Sword or Memorial Garden Sub using GP you earn from battle, which can be assets during your free time from Mary Store here, and Memory Garden Sub here. Depending on what booster you get, there will be one or multiple chip slot that open up for you to equip them with extra stats. Accessory can be earned through clock tower or dungeons, or strengthening corridor. These stuff are just as important as booster, so be sure to collect and equip them. So don't, don't just collect them and do nothing with it. Now that we got most of the stuff out of the way, I just wanna say, this is just a general equipment guy. Otherwise, we'll be here for years due to the amount of character that we're gonna look at, and upcoming character. And I'm a college student. I have homework too. It's, it's painful. That's it for the guy. If you liked the video, slap that like button. If you don't, you know what to do. Subscribe for more and uh, I'll make another guy in like two weeks. Only if I don't die during final week.